Hey, it's Victor. Give me a flake, man. I'm going to teach you an expression at the very beginning of this video, and we'll see if you remember it. It's kenka suru hodo naka ga i. All right? Kenka suru hodo naka ga i. Let's repeat it with me one more time. This is a blog, by the way. This is a blog about drama, so you got to remember this expression too, though. Kenka suru hodo naka ga i. The explanation will be in the sidebar, but let's get to it. You can take me out of the drama, but you can't take the drama out of me. And I'm back with some drama. Uh, first of all, let me start off with saying happy birthday. Happy birthday to De Pointless and B Walker. Though they don't watch these videos, they're not really part of the Japanese community, but they're buddies of mine. And I will be um, playing Mario Kart online sometime soon, so look for me. Uh, so happy birthday also to my wife, to my brother-in-law, to my sister-in-law, to my father, to System Jap. To Jimmer SD and his wife. I don't know if it's his wife's birthday, but I know she. I think she watches these for Japanese. I don't think he watches these. He only watches booty dancing videos, you know. But um, oh, his wife's wife's watching. Oh, forgot I said. Um, thanks. Oh, 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 TFG. That Japanese girl. Happy birthday, baby. Um, who else? Oh, Mana Star System Jap. I said that. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. A lot of birthdays this month, right? A lot of birthdays. So happy birthday, all you guys. Now let's go on to the drama. I'm kind of disappointed in uh, a few of you. Because, what, I mean, come on, don't you guys know me yet? I don't believe you guys. You, you actually think I would attack a three-year-old baby, a kid, a beautiful, darling little girl like, uh, uh, what's her name? Nina? Sorry. <laughs> Slipped my mind for a second, Nina. She's a darling little kid, and of course, if you had listened to the video carefully, you should have known that when I accused her of plagiarizing a, a, a story, and her scribbles representing her distorted view of the world, you should have realized I was joking. You also should have realized <laughs> that the child could not possibly have been have been indicating the isolation attitude of Japan to a, a three year a three year old couldn't have come up with that. Okay, um, <laughs> and I wasn't. How can you be grammatically insulted? Oh, you guys disappoint me. Some of you, some of you just got it right away. Some of you didn't. And like like Betamax says, you know explaining humor if you if I got to explain it I'm just tired of it. I, I'm not gonna explain it but I will that expression I just taught you uh, kenka suru hodo nakagai kenka means fight kenka suru means the quarrel to quarrel to fight it's the verb hodo means degree or amount or level uh, naka is connection or relation naka and nakagai means good relation so I want to be so I want to be close enough to you guys that we can fight and we should tell the truth um, tell how we feel because this is something that has to be done sometimes, right? So I want to talk, I want to point out a guy that has been my subscriber for a long time, buddy, and I gave you a chance to talk to me, but you didn't. So I'm gonna sorry, I'm gonna have to call, call you out. He's just he's just a commenter like most of you, and the point is I want to interact with you guys. So it means that I should interact with just commenters, even though they don't make videos really. He's got a couple of videos up. He lives in Okinawa. He's got a kid apparently, and he didn't get my joke. Now that's fine. You didn't get my joke, okay? But this kind of message, uh, you know, this, <laughs> he left a message on Jeff G. By the way, I did call Jeff G the day before that video was even made. And I said, hey, I got an idea to get you more subscribers. And he's got 50 more subscribers now since I made that video, right? I could have done the nice video going, hey, guys, my friend's got a really good, good cute kid. Go check him out. Um, but I figured this would work. It would be more effective. And it did get a lot of views. So there you go. That's why I did it, okay? Drama works. And this is friendly drama. Nobody's been hurt. Except, um, well, I lost one subscriber. But I actually, I <laughs> jumped like, whatever. I got a lot more. Okay, so Rai Raivitz writes to me. Listen to this. <sighs> this, this is, a, this is you, you make me be so mean, Rai Rai. I've been sub to you for almost two years, Victor. But you rant about the, your rant about that child makes me livid. And I'm tempted to unsub. He actually blocked me, so I think he did unsub. Whatever you do, Victor, don't believe in this. Oh, he did unsub, and he still sub to give me a break, man, which is funny. Whatever you do, Victor, don't believe in the shit you're trying to sell in that video because it's mostly a baseless opinion. Mostly a base. It's all baseless. Except the part where I said she's cute. But <laughs> I said she was cute. Anyway. Um, you're clearly not qualified to psychoanalyze a three-year-old or her drawing and come to an affirmative conclusion that she has a distorted worldview. Her ego and sympathetic cognitive abilities are not developed at her age, of course. She's conceited. Conceited is spelled T-E-D, not C, not with a D, okay? That's that's a different kind of concede. That means I give up, concede. Not conceited as in I'm stuck up, okay? 
Who the fuck do you think you are? Leave analysis to those of us who know and practice psychology. If this guy is your psychologist, you're in big trouble. This is how, this is the, listen, this, because of the following sentence. You owe him an apology. If you said that about my girl, I'd mash your face up real nice, buddy, because people like you disgust me. Stick to the dogs, they're more on your level. So I looked this guy up on my um, Gmail and found out that he had written me an email a long time ago, I forgot about it, apologizing for some comment he made about a dog, about my dog, about Maggie, right? He apparently made some comment about my Maggie a long time ago, implying that I should not have a dog and I should raise kids instead. He, should, I, he said I should raise half kids because we need more half kids in Japan to stir things up a little bit. So apparently, I'm guessing maybe he's had problems with his half kid because uh, they do have problems and you know, they get bullied and stuff. But it was funny because I'm like, um, I remember the comment after I read it, you know, I'd forgotten about it. You don't have to choose, you know, you can have both a dog and a child. You know? Having a dog doesn't make you impotent or, you know, you, you know they don't, they're not so dangerous. That they're not going to, Maggie's not going to eat the child or anything. If I have a child, but whether I have a child or not, is really none of your business. And your, you know, your idea of what I should be doing with my time is also none of your business, Okay. The fact that you want, if anything, people should not have children. This place is overpopulated. Well, not Japan. We could have children here, I suppose. But, but um, the world, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, it was just funny that this guy was just so, this is a guy who claims to be an expert in psychology. This is, this makes me kind of, kind of angry, but mostly sad, because this is the kind of person out in the world claiming he, he thinks he knows something about psychology, and he couldn't tell a joke that most people got. That video's got done very well in the rating. Most people obviously knew Jeff G got a bunch of more views and a bunch more subscribers if you go, go look on his um, little you click on the bottom there you can see who's watching him and why they're watching him over 200 people came over from my channel just to watch that video so there you go anyway and this is a guy who you know I mean buddy Rai Rai you know what is this man you're gonna mash my face this is your psychological answer you know you could have written to me I, I wrote you saying I got no beef with you man and and I showed you, I showed him his, my, his old email to me. But of course, no answer, you know. I felt a little bit bad, but not that much. Because I, I can't, I can't uh, let every moron get to me. And that's basically what he became. And he was a nice guy until he became this. And he's still got a chance to be a nice guy, but he's got to man up and just apologize. I doubt he's got the balls. Because it takes a lot of balls to say, man, you're right, I goofed. I, I overreacted. by <laughs> threatened to smash your face in. I kind of wish he had a daughter, because I'd like to see if he tried to smash. You know, he's in Okinawa. He, he could come up, you know, and visit me, mash my face, and you can, I'm easy to find. But anyway, like I said, you can take me out of the drama, but can't take the drama out of me. So speaking of drama, before this gets too long, um, oh, yeah, 33 Sammy 32, change the subject, 33 Sammy, uh, Sammy 32, made a video about who she likes and who she doesn't like. And the people she doesn't like are Maggie Bond, Apple Milk uh, 1988, and um, Hannah Minx, okay? And I like all of them, all right? Uh, I don't always like what they do on video, but and I haven't met, met Hannah Mink, so I kind of like what she does on video. I don't watch a lot of her videos, not all of them, but I've seen quite a few, and they're kind of funny. Um, but I've got no problem. I like uh, 33 Sammy 32 and I've invited her to be guest sensei. Her Japanese is amazing. She's a very nice girl. I've met her before. She was actually one of the first uh, Gaijin YouTubers, if not the first. Uh, one of the first, yeah, definitely. And she's, uh, she was an inspiration, actually. And I've known her for a long time. Met her two years ago at the um, at the uh, Hanami in Tokyo. But anyway, and I think it's great that she made that video telling us who she doesn't like. Because she says a lot of things that a lot of people are thinking. Though I do want to say that uh, I went through the comments and kind of defended Tokyo Sam, who she likes, but some of her subscribers don't like for stupid reasons. They don't like her. You know, he's you know they say he's promoting uh, prostitution in Japan, but everyone knows that Gaijin can't get into prostitutes. They can't see prostitutes. I mean, they, they don't. They're not allowed in. Okay, Pro Gaijin cannot visit prostitutes. Maybe they can visit foreign prostitutes. I don't know. I've never tried, but I've heard stories, and you, I'm sure you've read articles about it. But um, anyhow, that's not really the point. The point is, I went on to her comment section, which is very interesting. If, even if you don't speak Japanese, go and read the comments. They're very interesting. Uh, and I kind of defended Apple Milk 198, who I've met in real life. And although I, you know, I don't like what she does in video, I'll, I'll admit it. She knows that. But but I like her. I think she's a nice person, and she's amazing. She can really. She's handled herself very well in small crowds, small groups, and very large groups. I got to tell you, <coughs> I'm impressed. So, um, enough said. But anyway, oh yeah, the, yeah the, the reason I'm saying this is someone wrote in the comments, Apple Milk is a horrible person. You can't say someone is a horrible person until you meet them, until you deal with them. 
and I've gotten, you know, and she hasn't de dealt with most of you guys, and she doesn't deal with me much either, but I've never, you know, there's no reason for anyone to believe that unless they've, they've been wronged by her. Only those people can really say anything, all right? Um, so that's kind of silly. That's ridiculous. And let me tell you haters a little something, if you hate Apple Milk or Maggie Bon or Hannah Minx or me. We don't, you know, especially them, <laughs> we don't think about you much, okay? I'm not, I, you know, I talked about Rai Rai Vincent. I don't hate the guy, but I'm not going to be thinking much about him either, you know? I'll be surprised if I hear from him, you know, but um, either good or bad. But um, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be spending my time thinking about him. I, I, yeah, anyway, 33, Sammy 32. Um, interesting video, lots of interesting comments. Uh, go check it out. And I think it's, it's good that she made a video like that. And I think that we should, um, the, one of the problems with the Japanese vlog, vlogging community is that we're kind of small and we all feel like we got to be friendly to each other and support each other, which is true. I do believe that. But I don't think there's anything wrong with making a video saying, dude, shut up. You're an idiot, you know, because like they say in Japanese, you know, Kenka suru hodo nakagai. So I hope um, in the future, if the opportunity does arise, whether it goes this way or that way, that we do uh, make vlogs <laughs> supporting or or not supporting one another, going out against one another, you know, even if it's someone like uh, that I wouldn't want to be attacked with. By like uh, that Japanese girl, Betamax, you know, uh, just have some fun with it, of course. And as long as we're there's always an open hand, at, at least on my part, there probably always will be an open hand ready to, um, you know, shake and make up and let's have a beer and get over it, you know. Type. I'm, that, I'm that kind of guy, anyway. I do like uh, disliking certain people on video, and I don't want to ever meet them because I because then I'd have to be friends with them, you know, I don't want to be friends with some people. <laughs> I, like, I like that they're dicks. <laughs> anyway, if you got this far, um, congratulations. Uh, the the uh, what what what? Are, this is the the proof. If you got this far, please write in the comments. Uh, invite Maggie to be the next sensei. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And oh, and I am behind on all the collab stuff, but I will get to it. And be, and uh, other things you'll see. Things are changing on this channel too, but you'll see soon enough. Oh, I better go back to work. See you later, guys. Bye.